Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this part of the video I'm going to show you how you can load games directly off a hard disk from your computer over the network to the PlayStation 2. Well this is pretty easy if you did the first part of this video. If not you're going to have some trouble, I think. You're going to need two things for this video. Number one is a program for the PlayStation 2 called Open PS2 Loader. And number two is a program for the, pl for the computer called USB Util, which is used to copy games to a hard drive for the PlayStation 2 to read. Now I'm going to show you how you, com how you configure your computer to do this. What you need to do for your computer in order to be able to connect to the PlayStation 2 for games is go to Start, Computer, select the hard drive you want to play the games from with right click go properties then sharing and click on advanced sharing now here you click share this folder and give it for a folder name it has to be ps2 SMB. If not, the program Open PS2 Loader is not going to find it. Then click OK and close. Now, what you're going to do is open the Network and Sharing Center down here and check if the advanced sharing settings of your network are like this. Turn on Network and Sharing Set Network Discovery. Turn on, uh, turn on file and printer sharing. Turn on sharing so anyone with network, network access can read and write files in the public folders. Turn off password protected sharing. Save changes. Now your computer is ready to go. You still have to put uh, some games on your hard drive for the PlayStation 2 to read. So you open up USB Util, which the which you can find the download link down in the info section close go to file create whoops create game from CD DVD okay there are some informative messages if you need them S just select the drive you have your game in Select the destination drive which you configured earlier and just give the game a name. In this case it was PES 2010 and create. That's all you have to do. Once this, once this is done the game is on your hard drive and you can go over to your PlayStation 2 to try load the game. Now once you have the open PS2 loader loaded you will have the selections between USB games and network games. USB games you can load games of a USB external hard drive also but uh, compatibility to the hard drives is pretty phew, difficult. You're pretty much in danger to buy a hard drive that's not going to work and also the port of the PlayStation 2 is very slow so I recommend to use network so first I'm going to explain to you how you configure the network here with Open P Open PS2 loader just go to network config here you have to make sure that everything is as I explained in the first video the port the port is 445. It usually is the same and always open on every Windows. If not, you have to make sure that it gets open. There are so many versions of Windows, so many different firewalls, I can't explain to you how to do this. So the share name, we also did, did this, PS2 SMB and network startup at automatic is off. You can put it on, but in order to make sure that you can still configure something, better leave it off until you are sure that the games actually work. So go OK and start network. 
Now I get an error because I'm doing this on the computer, but I'm going to show you now on the PlayStation 2. Okay, and this is my my PlayStation 2 in action. I'm using Swap Magic, well since model 9000 is blocked. This is the Ulaunch ELF browser, which I will, will explain to you in the next video. So we will open the Open PS2 loader here named OPL. and start up the network. Once the countdown is finished you will get a list of your names. If the countdown stops that usually means if you did, that you did something wrong with the network and you take, have to retake your steps. So let's just check what we take Dragon Quest pretty good so load it it's gonna give you a lot of different colors sorry about that my cam isn't that great once the colors are through your game should load if it doesn't you have to check on the website in the info line called SKA SKS apps and there you can find a list and various other apps and anything you can try. And the game is loading. So here you have the evidence, you have the explanation how it works. And, it's, it, and it is all smooth except for my talking but I can change that. So enjoy your PlayStation 2 experience to full play.